नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका स्वागत है मैं एफ के बारे में अक्सर बात करता हूं लेकिन मेरा एक ही है एफ एम सी जी स्टॉक का कंसिड्रेशन है वो आई है और कुछ दिन पहले तो ज्योति लैब्स के बारे में बात किया था इसकी इन सब दोनों को मैंने रेकमेंड किया था कंसिडर करने के लिए मेरा सस्तर चैनल मनी पेज में लेकिन बहुत बार मैंने टाटा कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स के बारे में भी बात की है और बताया कि ये बहुत महंगा है आज भी बहुत महंगा है लेकिन ये दुनिया के दूसरे सबसे बड़ा चाय कंपनी है और इसके बारे में हम चर्चा करेंगे इस कंपनी का नाम आज टाटा कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स है लेकिन इस कंपनी का पहला नाम था टाटा टी उसके बाद टाटा ग्लोबल और आज इस कंपनी का नाम है टाटा कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स ये कंपनी के बारे में आज हम बात करेंगे टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट दी एफ एम सी जी सेक्टर द रिजल्ट इन दी एफ एम सी जी सेक्टर है increased prices and therefore increased realizations and thus these companies have turned profitable the only stock i have considered in this space is as of course itc of course i have made a reference to jyoti labs which in the current results have been good and the price in turn has shot up by 20% but at all times i have been talking in my sister channel about tata consumer products tata consumer products is the fmcg arm of the mighty tatas and has done well it was in the news for recently for attempting to buy bisleri the deal fizzled out tatas did not buy bisleri and the family of bisleri continued to run it however the results have come this quarter the results are decent and therefore i wanted to look at it the tata consumer products net profit has risen by 22% to 337 quarters revenue has gone up by 12.7% that means the turnover has gone up you know the volumes have moved have gone up so much and the net profits have gone up because of lower input costs tata consumer has reported as i said a profit year on year revenue for q1 of this quarter went up to 3741.2 crores compared to a revenue of 3326.8 crores in previous q1 of fy23 lower costs meant that ebita went up to 547 crores the growth was driven where across business the growth has been strong the global business the tetley business is gone very strong the indian business has gone strong and the non branded business also has done well in india the tata consumer products barely managed to grow 2 and 3% that is 2% in volume but revenue growths have been decent especially in packaged beverages segment this is basically tea both tea brands tata tea premium and tata tea agri recorded strong growth tata consumers international business revenue grew by 7% with all three brands tetley good earth and trappings and teepings gaining value and market share tata starbucks has seen a robust revenue growth of 21% why is starbucks coming here is this is primarily because starbucks india is a venture of joint venture of between starbucks in globally and tata global what was then tata global and now tata consumers this has been rapidly expanding and its turnover has also gone up by it's so a robust revenue growth so tata starbucks has in turn grown up grown its revenue by 21% the company has its own stores it has opened 16 new stores in this quarter and expanded to four new cities these stores are primarily starbucks stores the total number of stores have gone up to 348 stores across 46 cities in this quarter i'm sure 350th shop of starbucks will also open tata's other products tata soulful nourishment company nourishment company used to be a joint venture with pepsi where the company has brought it back have grown big and they have strong growth 
growing 58% in this quarter. But this 58% is actually on a very small base. And this accounts for 20% of India's branded business. Innovation to sales reached 5%. This is basically selling digitally. So digital sales have done up extremely well. And Tata consumers is definitely going to reach 4 million units, 4 million outlets. That means there will be 4 into 10 lakh outlets where Tata consumer products are available by September 2023 through sales and distribution and also including direct distribution in towns where they do not have indirect distributors. And there will be definitely profit growth, profitable growth and advancing its transformation journey to become one of India's largest FMCG player. Managing Director is Sunil Disosa and he says the company will propose strong top line growth, earnings growth and will continue to expand. In fact, Tata's consumer has been trying to do inorganic growth also. The total earnings per share is about 13.65. That is what has happened is we have removed the Q1 of last year and therefore you have Q2, Q3, Q4 and then Q1. So the it becomes 13.65 and uh, if you divide the current market price which is around 850, you get a P by E ratio of 62.5. A growth rate of 20% in profits does not justify a 62.5 times P by E. The book value is 175. That means it's nearly five times book. This stock is frightfully expensive and it makes eminent sense to buy ITC instead of buying the stock. And this is exactly why I don't touch any FMCG stocks at current prices. And this company also has Himalayan waters and is also explained, trying to expand into other mineral waters. So the company will rapidly grow but I don't see it growing at 40-50% for me to justify this kind of valuation. So it is a company we have to give a miss, though it's a great parent, it has a great parent. It's a company we have to give a miss. Kindly do not consider it at these prices. It's very expensive. Thank you for watching Paisa Bolta Hai. You have this podcast, mein, podcast ko suna. Iske liye main aapko abari hu. Aap is channel ko subscribe to channel. बेल नोटिफिकेशन दबाएं। अगर ये सब आपने कर दी, तो वीडियो को लाइक कीजिए और अपना कमेंट्स लिखिए। इस वीडियो को अपने दोस्त और रिश्तेदार के पास शेयर कीजिए। धन्यवाद, नमस्कार।